There's a new little scam going around Facebook and otherwise the internet around the real estate rental arbitrage Airbnb space. And I would know, of course, because I've got my nose deep in that game. What I'm seeing lately is there are micro influencers or educators that are essentially defrauding people who don't know anything about Airbnb and rental arbitrage and getting them to spend money on stuff that actually doesn't help them build their businesses. Um, lists, systems, blueprints, stuff like that. And they're hollow or they're incomplete um, because the people that are teaching this stuff actually don't even know how to run the business themselves. So, um, in this video, I'm going to tell you about this little micro scam um, and about some of these influencers and really what they're trying to do to get your money where instead of you learning for free somewhere like here, you're paying them fifteen to $14,000. $15 to $14,000 is the range of the scams that I've been seeing online. So, let's just jump right in and save you some money by teaching you what you really need to know so that way you can guard yourself from these phonies. Let's get into it. back Airbnb family please like this video and share with any of your friends that are learning about how to Airbnb and are considering rental arbitrage because one of the first things that I'm seeing here is in Facebook groups there's ones where like they're talking about Airbnb VRBO even in my groups people come to ask a question to kind of verify something that they've read somewhere else because there's a lot of misinformation on the internet and one that I just saw like an hour ago was uh, a guy asking a question, which is, um, if an apartment complex allows corporate housing, does that mean that they'll allow me to run my Airbnb business? Now see, this question stems from a, like a scammy run of information that's been online. There are a couple people out of Atlanta who really don't know how to run this business. Um, and there's some other ones in Texas here too um, that just don't know how to run the business and don't really even understand what corporate housing means. And what they're doing is they're, they're saying, you know, get my scripts or um, here's how to pick up some properties or buy this list of buildings that allow corporate housing um, and so what this is doing is this is giving um, hundreds or thousands of people a list of apartment complexes that allow something that is not Airbnb right but could become Airbnb um, and the and so let me just break it down corporate housing is when a building allows a business to hold a lease and then that business can put a person in there right and so back in 2014 when I first started my business my argument for buildings was that I was corporate housing because my LLC held the lease and that I was putting people in there. Back in 2014, 15, 16, leases here in Texas did not have any language in there that said that you cannot list on lodging websites or that you couldn't Airbnb the space. So when I started teaching Airbnb five years ago, just looking for corporate housing friendly buildings was good enough. And so all these micro influencers who really don't know what they're doing, they're taking some of my oldest educational material and they're trying to sell it is what they're trying to do. And so what they've done is they called around cities and they just pick up the phone and ask, hey, do you guys allow corporate housing? And then they put it on a list. And now they're trying to sell you guys that list for 15 to $50 for the list. But the thing is, is if you go find a building that allows corporate housing, all that means is they'll let your business apply to lease there. You will still get evicted if you try to Airbnb without permission because running a short-term rental business is different than corporate housing. See, a corporate housing company, they have a customer, they come to a building with the customer, they apply, they get approved, they put the customer on the lease, but they are financially responsible, right? So corporate housing company is financially responsible, and then the person who lives there is the occupant, but that occupant never changes. For two, three, four months, that person lives there. When they move out, the lease ends, and the corporate housing company leaves. There's no interchanging of occupants. You don't have permission to do that just by having a corporate housing company. Now, there's other influencers lately um, who know that I have a script that includes corporate housing in my pitch, and they're trying to make sense of where I would use it, but they've actually never heard my full script because they're not students in my course, and so they obviously don't know what I'm talking about. My script, using the phrase corporate housing, is designed to pitch landlords, developers, buildings that have never considered a business like mine before, and they have no clue what it is that I'm talking about, and I need to start them somewhere, like a common ground that they can understand what we're up to. I use corporate housing in the beginning of my very long script, my very long negotiation process, the beginning of it includes the phrase corporate housing, but it all grows from there in a big way. And the thing that you need to understand here is that you cannot defraud a building by just saying that you're corporate housing, get a lease, and then start putting it on Airbnb. That's misrepresentation. That is a breach of the lease contract, and they will sue you and evict you. And this happens all the time. I have people who like DM me that says they listened to some girl in Atlanta and went and did some corporate housing stuff, and now they're getting evicted. Please save me. So 
I guess what I'm telling you is stay here, learn for free, join my hosts of Airbnb Automated Facebook group and talk to other hosts that do rental arbitrage. Don't just listen to these micro influencers that have like five or 15 properties because a lot of times, even when somebody has 15 or 20 doors, with rental arbitrage, that's really not a lot of property. You can get two buildings that are lazy enough to not care and you can pick up five, 10, 15 doors per building where you know they, they didn't even think about asking if they could do Airbnb, but they tripped over a building that was okay with it. This can happen and it happens all the time, right? So if you go to a building that says they allow corporate housing and you start airbnb you might have a 10 to 20% chance that they won't evict you. And some of these influencers are people that just got lucky and actually never pitched a building once in their life, like the right way. And that's what's happening there. Another part of this scam is, there are guys that actually don't have property. I just, I just saw somebody ask about um, Brian Page's new $14,000 mentorship that he's got. Brian Page doesn't have any property. Like he has very few properties of that. I think he moved to North Carolina and has like a couple. And he's still teaching Airbnb, but he's charging $14,000 to teach you automation. But he's not qualified to teach you to automate your business because he's not automated a business at scale. He doesn't make like even maybe $300,000 a year gross on Airbnb. So um, if you see anybody trying to pitch you a course where they do not give you tens of hours, 20 hours, 30 hours of free content showing their game, if they're not giving away a ton of game for free, it's because they don't know anything. And that's why these guys are just showing up in the ads going, hey, look at my millions. I can teach you how to do it by my course. But if you go online and you don't see them giving away just an epic amount of game for free, they're phonies. It's just the way that it works. See, there's, there's a problem in the education space right now, and let me just back it and get a little bit broader. There are so many things that you can learn about to make a ton of money. And Airbnb rental arbitrage isn't the only one. There's, you can start an online marketing agency if you are creative enough, right? And then you work with companies like me to try to reach more people. And I would pay you as a marketing agency to help me reach more people. That's one thing, right? You could start a drop shipping, Amazon FBA, Etsy business, Shopify website. E-commerce businesses are booming and there's ways to make money online. And there's people who teach it um, and they've realized that there's so much money in education like the reason why there's so much money in education is if I make a course, which I have, and then I start selling that course, I don't have to buy a new thing every time I sell a, a student a seat in my course. I've made the course once, and then I show up every Saturday for about two hours and I talk to my students every Saturday live and answer questions, and then of course they have all this 25 hours of course material. Every time we have a new student, it doesn't cost me more money, right? And so that's why courses can be so profitable is because if a lot of people buy your education product, it only costs you money to make it once. So there's all these guys out there that are super greedy. They're like, I want to make a million dollars. And the easiest way to make a million dollars is to sell a course. Well, I still make more revenue in my Airbnb business than I do selling my course. And that's one of the things that I'm dedicated to doing is I want to stay a leader in the space that I'm teaching. If, if I can't make four, five, six, seven, ten million dollars a year doing Airbnb, how do you think I'm going to teach you to make $10 million a year doing Airbnb? That's exactly right. I have to get there first, know what I'm doing, pave the way, and then I can teach somebody to do it. So if you go to the host of Airbnb Automated Facebook group, you'll see a lot of my students who've learned for free and some who've paid for it that are making more than a million dollars a year. That's possible because I make way more than a million dollars a year. I can pull people up that far. So one of the biggest scams that I'm seeing online right now are educators, people who are rushing to create a fast reputation, and then they go to try to sell you a product. These people have no business selling you anything. They don't know what they're doing, they're fakes, and they honestly just suck. They suck at life, that that's what they're trying to do is they're trying to take your money. They're trying to look like a successful person, they rent the Lambo, and then they make some videos, and then they say, buy my course. I see them come and go. One of the biggest ones, his name was like Chi, out of like San Francisco or something, he used to try to talk smack and there's this private group where he said that I was gonna go bankrupt two years ago. Um, and he since went out of business in California when COVID hit, but my business stayed alive. You will see a lot of these people come up, try to challenge the gurus in place and try to sell content in order to get your money because courses, they wake, they, they wake, they, courses make way more money than they should. In all honesty, the profit margins on courses, it's insane. As long as you sell a good product and you're dedicated to your students, Maybe you deserve all the money, right? But because the money is so easy in course sales, we're seeing a lot of shady people. And I just really had to put that out there. And the, one of the biggest problems I'm seeing, let's bring it back to the beginning of this, is there are people who are trying to be course sales gurus that are essentially telling you, find a building that allows corporate housing and start an Airbnb business. And they're basically subjecting you to a game of Russian roulette where one out of every five times 
one out of every 10 times, you may not get evicted. And that's extremely risky for you. So if you, if you can't find a, a system where like you can absolutely do this, uh, don't take a risk on somebody else who can't explain to you how this whole system works. Um, and somebody's just like corporate housing, that is not enough. I honestly recommend all my newest students to start with single family homeowners. And the reason why I recommend that they start with single family homeowners and not apartment complexes is to allow them to practice talking to building owners and decision makers. The front end of getting an Airbnb building is a sale. It is hands down a sales process. You're trying to convince somebody who has property that they own or property that they manage on behalf of an owner and that entity has a plan. The owner manager entity combination or the owner single family homeowner, they have a plan for their property. And that is to get regular tenants and to get up to occupancy and then maybe then sell the building or just cash flow off the building. That is their normal plan. Allowing an Airbnb operator in is risky to them because it's different and it's not part of their original plan. So to get a successful person to change their mind is a sale. You have to influence that person. You don't just go around with your hand out looking for buildings that allow Airbnb. I will tell you, if you find a building that says that they allow Airbnb as part of like their front end, like, hey, come and rent here, avoid those buildings. Because even if the building gives you a fair rent rate, the problem is, is it's not just gonna be you, but it's gonna be dozens of other operators running an Airbnb business in the same building. And what's dangerous about that is if you have a couple operators that are just bad at what they do, they get trashy guests that just damage the property, that make the property management entity angry, that dishevel the outdoor space on the way into the building, especially like say it's a high rise where everybody shares the same few elevators. If that building becomes trash because of a couple trashy operators, like let's say you and I are there and then somebody else destroys the property, your, your guests and my guests, they deal with the destroyed building and now we start to lose money. You and I will make less money because a bad operator ruined a building. You don't want a building that allows Airbnb. That's not what you want. You want a building owner or a building that has never considered it that will let you do it because you're a professional and you convince them and won't let anybody else do it. That's the building you want. So a lot of these gurus that are like, look for buildings that allow corporate housing that are like just publicly friendly to a ballpark version that could become Airbnb, those people are giving you bad advice because they're asking you to step into a pit full of other Airbnb hosts in a few buildings in Atlanta or Houston or Dallas or Chicago or wherever, and they want you to hash it out next to highly, highly uneducated Airbnb hosts where you are one of 20 hosts or one of a dozen hosts. And if that building has a problem, that problem is now your problem. You want to avoid that. So I use the phrase corporate housing in the beginning of my script to give a landlord an idea of what we're about to talk about. But then my script from there is completely just an evolution of what these people are trying to imagine. And no, I'm not gonna teach my script to the world right here on camera so all these other gurus can fix their problem. They're screwing up and they're trying to steal your money. And so we should shut them down. So share this with your friends because I'm kind of sick of it. I'm gonna be honest. Like I just rather give you guys as much game as I could right here for free um, within reason, because like I said, everybody's always gonna repackage and try to sell what I teach you. They're gonna try to put a course out. Most of the courses you see are just a, a, like a digestion of what I teach for free with their opinion over the top, and that's it. There is no original player in the game. So I can't teach everything for free right here because somebody is gonna go package it and try to sell it. So I have to wall that off a little bit. So join my Facebook group, the host of Airbnb Automated. Hit me up on Instagram. Um, if you're a safe and good person, we can have a conversation. If it looks like you're trying to sell my stuff to people, we're not talking. That's kind of how that goes. So thank you so much for watching this video. Stay good and be successful. And as always, I will see you on the other side.